Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, welcome to tabitalks.com. As I promised you in the previous video that I'll be sharing with you uh, different input devices. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Now, uh, first of all, as you see in the diagram, uh, these are some of the input devices that I've been able to outline for you. Uh, but before that is, uh, first of all, what is input device? Well, uh, input device is one of the component or one of the parts that make up a computer system. And it is mainly used to enter data inside the computer. Uh, input devices, they help to enter data or to input data inside the computer system. Uh, so to start with, we shall start with uh, uh, one, the keyboard, uh, which is uh, one of the input device. So a keyboard, uh, in simple term, it is used to enter text and other data in into a computer. Of course, you know, a keyboard has the keys, uh, which keys have the characters and numbers. So whenever you want to enter uh, different character values, uh, numerical values, so you use the keyboard uh, to enter text and other data into a computer. It typically contains the letters, numbers, and symbols, as well as uh, function keys and special special keys for controlling various aspects of the system. Yeah, that's what that's the work of the keyboard. We're saying it consists of numbers, consists of characters, it consists of symbols and the uh, function keys and other special keys for controlling various aspects within the system. And then the other part is what we call the mouse. Uh, this is what we call the mouse. A mouse is uh, a pointing device, like the one I'm using here, is uh, what we call a mouse. It's a pointing device uh, which is used to control the movement of the cursor, uh, the movement of the cursor. So this is the cursor, but the one I'm using to control this cursor is what we call the mouse. Uh, on the screen, so uh, we use the mouse to select and manipulate objects in an applications uh, and the operating system. So uh, because uh, we are dealing with we deal with operating system uh, where we have to uh, deal with the user interface that have uh, different options and the different uh, uh, files. So for us to be able to open each and every file and manipulate data within the files, we need to use the mouse and the cursor to locate where these files are and then be able to manipulate them. Uh, so the other part, uh, uh, which is very important is the touchpad. Uh, this is the touchpad. Of course, a touchpad is a type of pointing device, uh, which is commonly found on laptops. So if you have ever used a laptop or you have ever seen one being used, uh, you know what, I, uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, it functions similarly to a mouse, but instead of using a physical ball uh, or optical sensor, uh, it uses a touch sensitive surface to detect the movement. So normally, uh, instead of using that trackball, you just have to use that touchpad where it will sense, uh, it will do it, it will sense uh, uh, the surface and then detect the movement and then uh, you can locate the cursor on the screen. Uh, so the other part is uh, uh, the other part, the other part of the, of, I mean the other device uh, is what we call the scanner. Of course, you know what a scanner can do. Uh, whenever you want to, for example, you have a document and you want to uh, maybe send it as an email attachment or you want to use it within a document, then you come and scan. It's like taking a picture or taking a snap chart of the document or a hard copy document uh, so that it can be uh, converted into digi digital or soft copy. So that's what a scanner does. And then we have the the other part, which is the uh, OS, OCR. Uh, the OCR is the uh, optical character reader. Uh, that's the uh, OCR in four. Uh, OCR in four is optical. This O stands for optical. And then C stands for character and R stands for reader. That is optical character reader. Uh, this is used for an input. It's an input device which is used to read printed text. Yeah, printed text. 
Uh, so that one, normally what it does, uh, you scan on the text, which is already printed, that's the hard copy. And then uh, it will uh, read uh, character by character and then convert them into a machine, a readable code. So normally when you have a, a printed paper, that's a hard copy document, you just use that machine, uh, scan with it, then it will read each and every character on the paper. And after reading, it will scan and then convert into uh, the code which is readable by the computer or by the machine. Uh, then the other part is called the my, uh, uh, MICR input. MICR input, this is uh, the device, uh, one I'm talking about. Of course, this is uh, uh, in short form, it is a, a, a microphone. A, a microphone, uh, you know what it does. A microphone is the input device uh, that it help to uh, enter sound and then uh, store it in digital form. Uh, when you are talking and you want to capture your sound, you want to capture your voice in digital form, of course, you have to use a microphone. Uh, a microphone has been used in various applications, uh, such as sound and to media presentation, like when you are trying to mix a magnetic ink card reader. So uh, normally, uh, we've seen microphone being used in many, uh, in many areas and you no, know, especially in multimedia systems. Uh, then the other important tool is what you call the joystick. Uh, a joystick is really very important uh, input device uh, in such a way that uh, it's called, sometimes it's called a fright stick, a fright stick in that it's an input device consisting of a stick that pivots or that point on a base and reports its angle or direction to the device it's controlling. So uh, as you see, a joystick, it has that uh, uh, pivot base. It has this pivot base. And then uh, besides that, uh, it consists of uh, its angle or direction to the device it's controlling. Like you have this, then you have this angle. So as you point to the, you point that angle, to a certain uh, direction of a device you are trying to control, and then it will be it will uh, perform its function by reading what by reading and the, uh, entering what uh, entering or pulling uh, the data, and then you uh, can be easily control it. Uh, normally, this is done in the in the gamepad, and when you are trying to play some kind of games and so on. Uh, so then the other thing is uh, the barcode reader. Uh, this one is also a very important tool, a uh, barcode reader. Uh, so a barcode reader, uh, as you, you hear the word barcode, is an optical scanner, of course, that can read printed barcodes. So if you have ever seen uh, barcodes like on the uh, products which are sold in markets, uh, supermarket and the other market, every product that comes into the market, it has a barcode and the barcode uh, is, is like a, uh, does a, 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 decode, a decoded number or data contained within the barcode as for security purposes. So normally uh, we use the barcode reader to detect and read the number and then that number is uh, interpreted and then uh, converted into text values that can easily be read by human being and then uh, is, uh, be interpreted into something important. So that is it. Of course, you know, what sometimes uh, may, you may not be knowing what a barcode uh, is, but a barcode we say is just a decoded uh, data that contains uh, uh, some values uh, for security reason. So what the barcode reader does is to, uh, to fetch the the values, the numbers within the barcode, and then uh, be able to what to interpret it to the what to the user. Uh, so, uh, of course, we have the touch panel. The touch panel, uh, like uh, when you're using like the tablets, like the I iPad, and you know, or touch screen on the laptop. Of course, you can also use that uh, to enter data or to input uh, data. So, uh, generally, these are the input devices. Uh, 
that we have been able to look at. And the, uh, I know they are really very important because without them, there's no way we can enter data inside the computer system. Uh, they work hand in hand with other devices, uh, like uh, uh, processing and output. Of course, you first enter the data, then the data is processed. After being processed, then it is uh, displayed or it is outputted. So normally, uh, the primary thing is input. And the, for us, uh, for anyone who want to know or want to uh, uh, get the knowledge of computing or who want to dive into computing technology or into the computing industry, uh, getting to know all the devices which can be used to enter data or to input data is very important. That's why today I came in to show you all this and how we can use them. Otherwise, I uh, thank you for paying. Uh, thank you for paying attention to on this, and I just have to invite you for the next video. And remember to subscribe to our channel and register uh, with our website tabitalks.com so that you can have a variety of tutorials coming in. Otherwise, thank you very much.